Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss the short story The Necklace by Guy de Maupassa. and in this video I will discuss introduction to writer, his writing style and the summary and plot, the themes, symbols, irony and literary device used in the short story. This is the text of the short story and we will move on to introduction to writer and his writing style. So the name is pronounced as Guy de Maupassa and he was born in 1850 in France. He was a French writer and naturalist and naturalism shows a greater emphasis on inevitable consequences of desperate circumstances on human behavior. And he was remembered for his depiction of trials and realistic accounts of real life problems and actions of unfortunate characters. Yes, we'll see uh, in the story later on and combination of wit is there and psychological problems have been addressed and he adopt a feministic approach and uh, he discuss uh, about women problems in the society and uh, he discuss the class distinction in a society so these are the things that he portrayed in the short story and the summary of the story is about it's a story about uh, women revolves around women the main character Mithalde and she was born to a low class family and she married to a uh, monsieur Leo Leosel and who was a clerk and uh, so she would have been she always complained that uh, why she is poor and she wished to be born to a uh, upper class and she is unhappy about that and uh, she is unhappy about married life as well and she want to have a luxurious life and her lack of fine clothing and jewelry makes her feel miserable and one day they got her husband come up with a letter of invitation to attend an event at the minister of public instruction home and uh, so she has nothing to wear for that party or that event and her husband offered to give her the money for something stable and uh, when asked why okay she didn't seem to be happy and still dismay and when her husband inquired why this is so and she is embarrassed and because she has no jewels to wear at the party and uh, she agrees and uh, so but uh, her husband suggested that uh, she borrow some jewels from rich friend name as uh, Forestia her friend and she agrees and she go to Forestia and she found a necklace there and uh, so she borrowed that necklace and wear it on the party and uh, after they came home to uh, after party they came home and they came to know a shocking news for them that the necklace has been lost and problem arise here and a couple finds a replacement so they think to replace it and buy a new necklace just similar to that one and uh, give her back so what they did they found a replacement for 36,000 francs which is a huge amount of money for them and they are poor and they have only 18,000 francs so what they did they purchased it on, on debt and uh, what they did to compensate their debt to pay off the debt both uh, couples work very hard and tirelessly and after 10 years they are finally able to pay off all of their debts and one day while uh, talking taking a walk to okay to forest forestia the okay uh, what she did uh, methyl day yes methyl day reveals to her that uh, actually they have lost the necklace and they replace it with a new one and uh, 
they have worked very hard for 10 years to compensate the loss so she become uh, when forestia told her that it, it was actually not a real diamond or real necklace it was just a fake one which cost only 500 francs and uh, original necklace which uh, which cost 36,000 francs see the difference between price so she method they become very shocked to hear this and uh, she repent on what she did so this is story outline and now we'll discuss themes of the story the first theme is the gender gender roles you can say in a society and uh, as in 19th century french society is portrayed there and in the story the lizel is uh, okay lizel wife mithilde she is dissatisfied with her social class as a woman she can do nothing to change her position beside marrying to someone of higher class and uh, Mopasa writes that women belong to no caste, no race, and their grace, their beauty, and charm, serving them in place of birth and family. Once married, she and her husband have very different goals that map across their gender roles. And uh, they took on gender jobs according to their gender and she does not what she did she does housework and washes the clothes and uh, her husband go out for work and social class class distinction has been the major theme in the story and uh, the necklace is perfect example of this and mrs loisel greatest concern is her own social class and she always wished to belong to a higher class especially and uh, especially of uh, the looking the lifestyle she want to have a luxurious life like upper class do and it is her focus on social class that causes her to borrow a necklace to wear to a party and she did it to show off uh, to the party on the party that that she is uh, we belong to a higher class and they eat and next theme is the theme of beauty is described here beauty is inherent or rather imbued in something in virtue of its social value so why did she wear that those expensive clothes and jewelry at a party to look beautiful and to seek attention of others uh, and even though it is made up of fake jewel and her belief that it is made of real diamond cause her to quake from its beauty so beauty is a real relative thing you know although the diamond seems to be real its beauty from its outer beauty but from inside it's fake you know and similar thing is with humans as well some looks beautiful from outside actually they are not good or beautiful from inside and uh, loyal feels beautiful at that uh, party and uh, she looks pretty at the party and everyone get attracted towards her and uh, because of her luxurious wearing and the necklace which enhance to her beauty and marriage is al also discussed there so Mapasa reflect the reality of his society Mithalde had no dowry no hopes no means of becoming non appreciated love or married by a man either rich or distinguished and uh, the beginning of the story depicts an unhappy marriage largely because uh, she, the method day yearns for the lavish life that her husband cannot provide her. And uh, happiness, yes, it also come out as a separate theme there, that their happiness depends on their uh, external needs or the things 
materialistic things of the world such as the looks, the dress or other things which makes you feel happy. And one surprising uplifting theme of the story, happiness, yes, it has been discussed and uh, we'll move on to next thing that is deception and theme of deception and the difference between reality and illusion. Yes, it has been reflected uh, in the appearance of that necklace. Although the uh, necklace seems appears to be a real diamond or real jewel, but actually it's an illusion and it is a a fake jewel. So it decept it uh, deceive the onlookers the first see and uh, materialism is all also there that. Uh, their desire for the materialistic need of life such as the method that she desired for more expensive luxuries, jewels, good cloth. The symbols used in the short story, the first one is the necklace and uh, the necklace it, it represents the surface level nature of the social class. The necklace is made up of fake jewel you know and it seems beautiful because she believes it is a real one and uh, it, uh, it perceives as beautiful at the party because of the confidence and status that dressing like a poor class person give her second symbol or motif is the clothing the clothing of person as representation of his social class or social status yes the upper class dress lavishly luxuriously expensive clothing having devil and uh, which are not afforded by the lower class and uh, her greatest fear when attending the party is that she will not have an appropriate dress and devil and so which uh, she felt embarrassed about the the cheap rep and uh, what the people say she become insecure about what if she wears um, a simple clothes at the party the how people perceive her so she become insecure about that and the irony used in the short story the necklace worth dramatic irony is used here and the main irony in the story is Lyosel's take on the tremendous debt in order to replace the apparently expensive necklace that was actually uh, cheap. The rise and fall of Miss Lyosel's situation irony is there and she is dissatisfied with her place in a society and in her efforts to pretend to be higher class by borrowing a beautiful necklace. And situational irony is used also there there uh, she expects that miss loyal will be excited by invitation and uh, to a fancy party but she didn't now i'll discuss the necklace literary elements uh, yonra it's a short story a realistic short story realism is used there and setting and context is concerned 19th century France narrator and point of view. Third person narration is there which is also known as omniscient point of view. You can say tone and mode realistic and ironic protagonist Methalde. Okay and uh, and antagonist uh, broad stroke society and social standing and major conflict that uh, Madame Leosel Mithalde, she wants to wear an expensive necklace to a party, but after she loses the necklace, she and her husband must work to pay off the cost of a new one. The climax that Mithalde reveals the original necklace has been fake. Foreshadowing is used there. Mopasa writes that uh, Leosel found a necklace that seems to be them exactly like the one they had lost he pointedly avoids saying that the new necklace was exactly the same as the old one imagery is used there before getting an invitation to a fancy party madame 
Lyocell images the live suffer with in great detail. So that's all uh, about the story. I'll provide you notes, link in the description. Thank you for watching.